She could have easily given up. No friends or family. She's living in a strange land. She moved from Jersey to Cincinnati. She's at the height of her addiction to drugs and alcohol. She's discouraged. However, this woman had something that many of us fail to have when we are struggling with an addiction. I want to tell you about a hero I know, and her name is Dequita Owens. Next cue. She had three big reasons to keep going. That's why I call her Dequita 3D Owens. She kept going. She had a dream that looked past her present moment and her past pain and decided to be something better. She had a dream to see her future state, even though her current situation kept her paralyzed to the chains of addiction. Your dreams can break the chains of addiction. Well, my question for you today is do you have any dreams? Do you see yourself rising above your circumstances? You must have a dream. She had drive. And drive is not so much about how fast you move. It's not about how strong you are. It's about enduring to the end. Listen, you're gonna have those days when you fall. I know how painful and how difficult it is to fight the battle of addiction. Many years ago, I had a friend who stayed with me who was addicted to crack cocaine. If you've never seen anybody struggle to overcome addiction, you have no idea how difficult and how challenging it is. There are days when this person fall and they fail. They fall and fail, fall and fail. But the key to drive is moving regardless of how many times you have fallen. Confucius says, our greatest glory is not in never falling. It's in rising every time you fall. You have to have drive when you fall, believing that you're gonna get back up. Even if you have to crawl, you have to roll. Sometimes you have to crawl, sometimes you have to scrape. Sometimes you have to just moan through it. But you have to have drive that says, I'm gonna keep moving even though it may take me all day. She had drive. And finally, she had divinity. And the best manifestation of divinity is in humanity. When another person gives their testimony and tells you how God delivered them from their challenges. She had grandpa who was a recovering addict and he shared with her his memory. The Bible says that they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of the testimony. Our testimony is our story about our experience with God. And a lot of times the thing that we forfeit is sharing our narrative about how we overcame the challenge. She listened to the story of her grandfather and it carried her to believe that the power of divinity would manifest itself in her life and become her reality. She had divinity. She had the experience of others, and that's why you have to have a network of winners and not losers. People who are not gonna tear you down, but build you up. People who are vulnerable and transparent, who are willing to tell their story. Because they want to see your glory. They want to see you succeed. They want to see you win. They want to see you overcome. You need divinity and humanity. You need the testimony of others. She had divinity. Next cue. Thank you for watching and please subscribe and watch more of my life coaching and motivational cues to live a great life.